Welcome to the Simio lesson. In this lesson, we will be making GPT 3.5 request using the OpenAI API. Now, I will put all the calls to uh, OpenAI APIs in a controllers folder because later we will convert this to an Express application which use the model view controller. So I will start now by creating the folder which is controllers. This is the controllers folder. Inside it, I will create a file. I will call it chat completion controller.js. Here we will be doing all the calls in order to make a chat completion. Now we will import the configuration file. This file OpenAI config. In this file, we export the OpenAI module. We do the configuration, we pass the key. Then we initialize the OpenAI API with this configuration and we are exporting this module. Now, if we come here, we will need to import this here. So this is what I'm doing here. I am requiring the file. It is in the config folder and that's the name of the file. And I am storing it on OpenAI construct. In the next step, I will be defining a function that will make the actual call to uh, OpenAI model. So this is what I have just added. Uh, it is generate chat completion. It is asynchronous because we are going to use await in this uh, function and we pass the user role content. So the content that we will pass in the user role. Okay, while we are here, we will do in the next step is that we will import this because we will be using it later. So that's what I am doing here, module.exports, and I am exporting this function that I have just created. Okay, the next step, I will be defining the system uh, role. Of course, the user role is going to be passed uh, to the function, while the system role, we will uh, be defining it within the function itself. So this is the system uh, role. You can see I am setting the expectation from the model, setting the behavior or asking it to act in a certain character. So system role content, you reply as concisely as possible. If you are not sure about an answer, you will respond with, I don't know. Of course, here the double quotes are encoded because I am using double quotes for the string. So this is what we call the system role. Then I need to define my messages list. I will define a messages list that will uh, contain multiple objects to be passed to the model. So here I'm defining this uh, messages. I'm defining this messages object. It is an array and as we will see shortly, it is an array of objects. You will see the object has a key role and system, which is uh, the type of the message and the content, which is the system role that we defined here. So all objects within the messages have a role and content uh, properties. The role property specify if it's gonna be system, it can be user, as we will see in the next object, or it will be assistant, as we will see in one of the projects. So for now, you need to know that for the messages, you need to create objects. Each object has a role, the role can be system or user or uh, assistant and the content which contains the content that you need to specify for this message. Okay, then I will add the other object. The role is user, the content is user role content, which is the content that we passed here. So what we did so far, we declared the function, we passed the user role content, we created a variable that contains the system role content. We created the messages uh, list that contains two objects. One of them is the system uh, and the other one is the user with the corresponding content. Okay, in the next step, we will do the actual call to the open AI model. So here I have just added a function call 
constant response. That's the response that we will get back from the model. Await because it takes time, so we need to wait for it before we get the response. And because of this await, we had to declare this as asynchronous. You can use await only inside the asynchronous. Then we have the open AI object. This open AI object is what we got from the config. So if you go back to the config, we initialized open AI API with the corresponding configuration. We returned the perceived in an open AI constant and we exported that con constant. Now this is what we are calling here, this open AI. Then we are saying create chat completion. Chat completion means GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Now in this course, we will be using GPT 3.5, but GPT 4.0 uses the exact same functions or API, only the name of the model, which we'll see now, will change. If you use the name of a model that is 4.0, then you will talk with 4.0. But what we'll do today is that we will use GPT 3.5 model. Okay, so this is the first thing that we will do, which is passing the model name. So this is how we pass the model name. This is a 3.5 model. The next parameter to pass will be the messages. So we will put a key, which is messages and send messages. Now this messages is this list that we have defined here. Then we have a couple of parameters that we need to pass. The first one of them is the temperature. Now the temperature is a value that can uh, be between zero and two. If it is zero, the model will be more deterministic. It is most likely to always return uh, the same uh, result. While if we uh, put it like two, for example, it will be more random. It is more likely to get different results uh, between various calls to the model. We will cover temperature in details in another lesson this section. Then there is another parameter that we will pass, which is the max tokens. Now this is to limit the amount of tokens generated by the model. Here we choose 512. Okay, so that's all. The uh, OpenAI object will make the call to the model. It will return the response and save the response here. Of course, this takes time and that's why we are using await. Now I get the response. I just want to print the output. So this console log here, I am printing response, which is this object that has been returned. Data, there is a key called data inside it. Choices, which is an, a list of multiple elements. I will take the first element. We will see that it is possible to ask uh, GPT to return multiple results, as if you have run it twice, for example, or three times or so on. In this case, the responses will be in this list. In our case, we left it to the default, and the default is just one uh, response, so that's why we get one response. Then we get the message, and inside the message, we have the content. The next step is that to use this uh, function. Okay, to do so, I will go to the playground and in the playground, I will comment out this code. I will import the uh, controller that we have just created. Now, I want to run this command in uh, the console to get the uh, and output information. So for that, I need to import another library which is this uh, library. So I am uh, requiring the read line and getting this uh, function. Now I will initialize this read line uh, object. So here is the object. We created an interface. I passed the input to be the standard input, which is the keyboard, and the output to be the standard output, which is in our case, the console. Now we will request the user to enter the prompt. To do so, I will call the question method in the read line. I will say enter prompt to send for GPT 3.5 chat completion model new line and now in the second argument we need to pass a function an anonymous function that will be called with this 
with what the user entered in this question. So the text that has been read from the question uh, from the user is passed with the name user role content to this uh, function or this is the body of the anonymous function. Now what it's doing, it's just calling this function that we imported from the controller and passing it the role content. And remember this functions which we defined, it takes the user role as input. Okay, let's now run this code and see what we get. So I'll come here to the terminal. I'll do node playground.js. I'll click on enter. As you can see, it is prompting me to enter the prompt. What is the capital of France? Now the model has answered with the word uh, Paris. Now uh, I want to finish this uh, shortly, but I need to show you one uh, more thing. Let me stop this. I will go back to the controller and I will console log the entire response object. Okay, let me try now. What is the capital of Spain? Okay, as you can see, we have got this uh, object. Now, in this object, as you can see, we have the choices, which is another object, and this is data. So, this is the data, this data, and these choices is an array list of objects in case you specify to return multiple outputs. The default is one output and that's why we select choices of zero. Now this object inside uh, choices will uh, be including the message and the content. In fact, let me also print this. Okay, save. Let me try again. Capital of Germany. So now if I click. Okay, you can see uh, this is the object. The object contains uh, the index, the message, and the finish response. We care about the message. This is the message that we care about. And it has a content, which is Berlin in this case, and a role, which is assistant. This we will take further to it when we build a chat GPT-like application in one of the uh, sections uh, later. Thank you very much.